good evening YouTube, welcome back to Richmond. So this evening, instead of uh, the usual layout stuff, um, decided on a little bit of an experiment. Um, I've had these in my kit box for a while, this Humbrol dark brown uh, enamel wash and this Phoenix Precision Paints uh, track colour, which is a matte you know, weathered sleepers uh, colour. Now, I quite fancy trying applying a wash to this scrap coach and uh, I quite fancy trying to dry brush this onto it as well to weather it a bit. Um, dry brushing is something I've never done and like I say applying a wash is something I've never done either. Um, never been a big fan of uh, painting models uh, as I prefer to buy them ready to run or if you spray cans uh, as you've seen some of my uh, Ian Kirk coaches. So I'm gonna have a go at this this evening. So uh, just bear with me, it may be a success, it may be not a failure, but uh, only time will tell. So, we have this scrap coach here, this is an Ian Kirk uh, kit, an older one, and it's knackered. Um, the glazing here is far too thick to, and well glued in to remove. Uh, some jokers painted the glass there, thinking it would be a brake van with the glass painted out. And I've damaged it trying to cut the glazing out, which is how I know that it's uh, impossible to remove. So what we're going to do first, we're going to start by uh, trying to apply a wash down here. Um, my paintbrushes aren't very good. I've only got this, uh, another paintbrush, which is a, a Humbro uh, paintbrush, but it's bad at it. So let's try applying a bit of a wash. Um, a wash, as my wife has just informed me, is just basically a thin down paint. So let's try and get a little bit onto there. Yeah, that's. Let's try again with a bit less. Can't really tell, to be honest. Um, it's a dark brown wash, so it's more sort of earthy coloured. I was hoping it was going to be a bit sort of weather stained or sooty, but let's have a look. Don't really think that's doing anything. I don't think that looks very good, to be honest with you. Um, you know what you think? Uh, feel free to comment. I probably put too much on. So that doesn't look amazing, I'm afraid. So fair enough. Let's uh, just clean the brush and the thinners. And uh, the other thing I wanted to try and, uh, try and attempt was uh, dry brushing. Um, apparently, it's dead simple. You just get the, some paint on your brush, and we're using the. Uh, Phoenix Precision Paints uh, track colour. So we'll just get as much off the brush as we can. Onto a bit of tissue. And let's just paint a bit on. Just on that panel there. Maybe a bit on there as well. I think that looks a bit better. Let's try the panels on the end there. Let's a little bit on the brush. And, off and just paint it on there a bit just to get almost dry brush. Oh, there's still a bit too much on there. Whoops, that was a little bit too Yeah. Not bad for a first attempt, I think. I think that uh, that panel there um is a bit better than that. Far too much on there. Although let's try on this side to see if we can do any better. Oh. 
I make no apologies for my camera positioning or uh, I can't see anything because the phone's in the way. So let's just get some of that off there onto the... There we go. And we'll try just here. Doesn't look too bad. Not bad for a first attempt at dry brushing. Let's try it up and down a bit more on the brush. And uh, here we go now, let's try. I think the same's happened again. We've got a little bit too much on the brush still. But uh, that was quite uh, quite heavily weathered. Let's see if we can do the rest of this coach side and see what it looks like. I don't think the wash has come out uh, very well on the other side, but. Dry brushing again. Get the impression of it being quite heavily stained and weathered, and that doesn't look too bad. It's a bit on the shiny side. I think this uh, this coach um, is quite shiny, so I think the light from outside isn't helping either. But uh, I'm fairly happy with that. As you can see, my modelling skills are not on par with some of the other more professional modellers. And I don't care. It'd just be nice to know how to do some of these things to some kind of acceptable standard. And... Uh, my problem is I'm quite impatient, so I want it done like now. Um, we're not going for a uniform finish here, we're just uh, trying to get some kind of covering on it. You may berate me for not knowing how to dry brush, but uh, it's, painting models has never been my forte, never really been something I've... Uh, been that interested in doing it anyway, so. But now I've started to build kits. Um, it is something that I'd like to attempt. That doesn't look too bad. I'm, uh, I'm relatively happy with that. It's uh, weather well, isn't supposed to be an even uniform finish all over anyway. So. That's quite dirty. I find it difficult to uh, to work and talk at the same time. I don't know how some of you uh, more experienced YouTubers manage it. Probably put a voice over on over the top after you've recorded the video. Something I didn't really think about at the time. So, that's, uh, that feels quite good. I'm quite impressed with that. Let's, uh, let's finish this coach side off and see uh, how it looks. My earlier attempts at weathering have been with weathering powders. So I've got a selection of Humbra weathering powders that are appropriate for sort of steam era vehicles. Although with the ready to run coaches, I'm kind of reluctant to ruin a 30, 40 pound coach with weathering powder. 
Um, if it looks crap, then uh, it's a lot of money down the drain. Same with weathering my locomotives. I'm not uh, not keen on doing it myself. I'd rather pay someone to do it, someone who's uh, professional doing it. And uh, pay them to do it. Uh, this, yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. This is, uh, this is going better than I expected. So, uh, maybe, if we, after we experiment a bit more, I might be ready to do, uh, do an actual coaches at some point. Let's see. Uh, Just one little couple of panels left to do. And we'll see how it looks. I'm just trying to put light coats on. And this end, like I say, it's the previous owner of this vehicle, or whoever built it, has decided to try and turn it into a brake van by painting out windows. It doesn't really work. So obviously the body side doesn't really uh, lend itself to being a brake vehicle. One thing I'm planning to do with my uh, Ian Kirk coaches is uh, add some handrails. So your door grab rails that go sort of there. Um, I've got some MJT, I think they are, um, frets. They're from Dark Castings. So I'm going to try one of my uh, my worse, uh, worse off uh, coach kits. I didn't do such a good job of and see if uh, I can fit them to an acceptable standard and uh, then we'll be going over these door handles with a very fine brush picking them out in gold um, let's put them next to the the Hornby uh, LNER Suburban coaches you can tell you know they're not not as great so we'd like to upgrade them a little bit just to make them look a bit uh, a bit closer to uh, the ready to run stuff um, what do you think to that? That looks all right, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's quite heavily weathered and work stained and worn. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. So, in conclusion, dry brushing, not bad. And let's check the wash on the other side. And the wash, not too bad. It's, it's like a mucky brown colour. Not really what... Uh, what you'd expect in a rail vehicle, but that track colour, dirty sleeper colour, um, it's actually come out quite well on this side. It's uh, it's not covered up all the detail. It's not covered up the the body colour that much. It's just give it a bit of a a careworn appearance. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, please feel free to comment and let me know what you think about that. Um, any criticism, constructive or otherwise, is welcome. Um, Maybe it's my technique that's not great, um, or I put too much paint on the brush. Uh, let me know and we'll see what we can do. So uh, thank you for watching.